Hello, this will be a quick example of converting a non-deterministic finite automata to a deterministic finite automata, or an NFA to a DFA. Okay, so what we're given up here, what we're given is a formal definition of a non-deterministic finite automata. Now, how do we know that it's an NFA? Well, because it has epsilon, because deterministic finite uh, deterministic finite automata do not have epsilon as a, an input, but for a finite for a non-deterministic finite automata, they always have epsilon as a input. So that's how we know that it's an NFA, and it tells us it's an NFA. So let's take this formal definition and create a state diagram, because a state diagram makes things a little bit more visual and easier to understand in many cases. So let's start. Okay, so what we have here is everything from the top. We have our Q. So remember, the formal definition of a finite state machine or a non-deterministic finite state machine um, is Q is the set of states. Uh, epsilon is the, I'm sorry, not epsilon, sigma is our input alphabet. And then this little s is our start state. This big F is our the set of all of our accepting states, and then delta is our transitions. Um, I didn't rewrite delta just because it's too much. It's easier to just go back and forth. All right, so let's get started with our start state. Okay, our start state from our formal definition that we had, our start state is zero. So this is our first state, and then we're going to have states one, two, and three. So let's add that to our, to our table. I mean to our diagram. Okay, so now we've added all of our states to our diagram, 0, 1, 2, 3. So now what do we know? We know that 1 is going to be an accept state. So let's, I'm going to use green to a second green circle inside of that white circle to signify that's an accept state. Okay, and then uh, in previous lectures I said that I'm going to use blue to represent the start state. I'm changing that to green because I don't like how the dark blue looked. Okay, so anyways, now we have our every, now we almost have everything. We have all of our states, we have our start state, and we have our accepting state. So now we need to label our transitions, which is given to us in delta. So now using delta, let's complete this diagram. Okay, and here's what we got. Um, I want to apologize because I really like to use as many colors as I can. So this does look really colorful. If that bugs you, then I'm sorry, uh, but I like it. Um, so just to point out some of the color coding, B represents blue, so I use blue arrows. A for apple, and then E, epsilon. I kind of just shows electricity, because epsilon kind of looks like an E. <laughs> and then that's it. And then all the regular state machines, I keep white. Anyway, so this is what we should get from our delta diagram, from our state diagram. Okay, something to keep in mind is that epsilon, in our, in our diagram, we were given epsilon clean star. So epsilon, epsilon star, which means zero or more epsilons. So every single state, when you have zero epsilons, you go back to itself. It just stays where it's at. And so on that state diagram, let's look at it. Epsilon star always has itself, that state, and then if it has a transition going to a different state, meaning the or more part of our clean star, then it goes somewhere else, right? So two of our states, zero and two, do have an or more condition, where zero, if we have zero epsilons, we stay at zero, but if we have one epsilon or more, if we have one epsilon, we go to one, state one. Okay, and then state two, yeah, so then state two, the same thing. If we have zero epsilons, we stay at two. If we have one, we go to state three. Okay, so this is our NFA, All right? This is our completed NFA. Our next step is going to be to make an, a new table, or really just to copy down our already made transition table that was given to us, but make it so we can make, put it side by side with the new table we're gonna be creating from it. So let's, let's do that. Okay, so here's that table from before, right? We have all of our transitions um, 
please note that the epsilon, uh, as I said before, we on zero it goes to itself, but then we also have a transition going to one if we have an epsilon. Okay, um, and that's what makes it an NFA. So to make it a DFA, we need to get rid of that epsilon, which means any of those states that travel to epsilon, we need to combine them. And so with our new table, we're going to take that into account. For our new table, um, sorry, I should point out as well, this side right here, the side, the vertical side is our states. So these are all of our states, 0, 1, 2, 3, and this top is our inputs. Okay, so for our new table, this new table, we're going to start with our concatenated or our new inputs because we need to make sure we get rid of that epsilon star. So when we make our new state, we need to get rid of that epsilon star. So our new table is going to have A epsilon star as an input and B epsilon star as the other input. Okay, so the first thing to look at is our starting state. And also to signify starting state, I'll do a little arrow like that. And for our final state, I will circle it in our diagram like that, in our table like that. Okay, so now we need to go over here. We need to figure out what our starting state is. Well, when we go with zero, um, our epsilon does have a transition to one. So zero cannot be our starting state because you know with nothing with no input we still get to one so this over here the zero one is going to be our starting state zero comma one okay so zero comma one is our new starting state okay so now we need to go through and figure out what all of the transitions can be from both of these zero one right so first we take the a and then we follow that to the epsilon star Okay, so if we follow, starting with the zero, if we follow A, we get to one. So let me, I'll use a different color just so you can kind of follow along. I'll use green. Okay, so for example, when we have zero, A gets us, this right here, A, zero A, A gets us to one. Okay, so then at one, after we've consumed that A, epsilon star gets us to this one. Okay, so that's one right there. And then that's it. That's all we have for that transition. Okay, but for B, B takes us to, sorry, um, I made a mistake. So we did zero for A. Now one, when we get an A, there's nothing. There's no transition with A for, for one. So one over here is gonna be our only transition there. Okay, now for B, let's start with zero. 0 when we get B, we get 2, so then jump to 2, we've consumed the 2, so let's go to epsilon star, 2 and 3. Okay, so we have 2 comma 3. Now let's do the 1. So at 1 when we get a 2, we have 1 comma 3. Oh, sorry, at 1 when we get a B, we have 1 comma 3, right? Um, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm wrong again. So I forgot, we're going to the epsilon star. So one comma three is not what we have, we have one. So we have to add that onto our state, our transition. Okay, so anytime you get a new state over here, um, because this is a new state now, this one, two, three, anytime you get a new state, you add it to the left side of the table and then figure out all the transitions going from those states on the other table. So for example, we have one, two, now. Oh, sorry. First, we have state one, which I forgot that we had because we need to define every single state again. So one, and then we have one, two, three. Okay, so let's start with one. That'll be the easy one. And then I'll do green again so you can follow along. Let me erase all this. Okay, so with one, when we have an A for one, nothing. It doesn't take us anywhere. And so we're just going to give that you leave that blank. Okay, but then for one, when we get a B, when we get a B, we have one, three. So now we go to one, which we're already at one, and look at the epsilon, which is one. And then we go to three and look at the epsilon star, which is three. Okay, so then that's going to be a new state. We need to write that down on our table as one comma three. Okay, and then do the same thing for one, two, three. 
So let's. I'll do this one again, and the, the rest I'll just fill in the chart by my by myself. But this one, I'll do. We'll do together. Okay. So one, two, three. Um, so for one, let's start with one. When we get an A, you know it's blank. We don't get anything for that. Okay. But for two, when we get an A, also blank. We don't get anything. Okay. When three, when we get an A, we go to zero. So we've consumed that zero. We'll go to epsilon. So now we have zero one. Okay, and then we also have three. Okay, so three, we consume the, th the A, we go to three. So zero, one, three. Okay, so now let's go to B. So starting with one, when we get a B, we go to one and three. So consume the B and then go to the epsilon of that state. So we have one, three, so let's go to one. We're already at one, go to epsilon star is one. So we're gonna consume the B and get one, and then go to three, consume the, th the B and go to three. Go to the epsilon star, that gives us three. So one, three. Okay, so now let's look at the two. So the two, we don't get anything, and then the three, um, when we get a B, we go to two, we go to two. So when we get a B, we go to, we go to state two. Okay, and then at two, our epsilon star, because we've consumed the B, we only have epsilon star left, we go to two, three. Okay, so we need to add that on there. So we already have a three, we don't need to add it again. We just add that other one, one, two, three. Okay, so interesting, it goes back to itself. Let's erase all these. Okay, and now let's do the same for, oh wait, we have a state we need to add to our chart. We have zero, one, three. Zero, comma, one, comma, three. Okay, so now we need to do one, three, and then we'll do zero, one, three. Okay, and when we do that, this is the chart we get. We get the, um, all these new states. We have the state 0, 1, we have the state 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, and 0, 1, 3. Okay, so something we always need to do is to circle any state that had the original accepting state. Now I'll do that with a dark green. Okay, so any state with the original accepting state. The original accepting state was 1. So, <laughs> interesting enough, we circle everything with 1. So that's everything in the language, pretty much. Okay, so now we use this new table to create our state diagram. So let's move over. Now we need to use this new table to create our state diagram. So let's start with our starting state. Okay, our starting state was the 0, 1 state. Um, this state, now we just use it just as a regular transition or a regular state diagram. When we get an A, we go to 1, and we get a B, we go to 1, 2, 3. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. So now from the 1 state, if we get an A, we don't go anywhere. But if we get a B, we go to the 1, 3 state. So we need to add that state as well and go to that. Okay, and then let's go back and look at our 1, 2, 3 state. So 1, 2, 3, when we get an A, we go to 0, 1, 3, and we get a B, we go back to itself, 1, 2, 3. So it's going to loop. Okay, and it'll look like this. Now let's go to, let's follow the one, three state. Okay, in the one, three state, an A gets us to zero, one, three, and a B gets us to one, two, three. So let's add that to our diagram. That'll look like this. One, three goes to, A goes to one, two, one, zero, one, three, and B goes to one, two, three. Okay, and then, and then let me fix that. Zero, one, three loop should be on the one, two, three, so I just changed that. B on one, two, three should loop to itself. Okay, so now let's do the transitions for zero, one, three. Zero, one, three, and A goes back to itself, and then a B goes to one, two, three. Okay, so that's what it'll look like, and we're almost done, but a, a DFA, deterministic finite state machine, needs to also include states that are unreachable. Not states that are unreachable, sorry. States that terminate, do not terminate. So sync states. So we need to include sync states. So if we go back to our diagram, there's only one sync state, and that's coming from 1. So 1 when we get an A. So let's do that for A for Apple. 1 when we get this A, we go to the sync state, a state we can never leave because we can never get here. Okay, so that's our sync state, and then the sync state, no matter what we get, and I'll keep true to my color coding, we get an A, we loop, 
And if we get a B, we still loop in that sync state. We're stuck there. Okay, so that includes everything. This is our DFA. Our DFA, which was converted from our original NFA. Okay, so the last step is to check, is to double check. So the double check, we need to make strings that are accepted by our first NFA and then run them through our DFA to see if they're accepted there as well. So here's our NFA that we started with. Now what strings can we put through this that might be accepted that we can run through our DFA? Okay, and here are a few strings that are accepted by this state machine and so should be accepted by our other state machine, our DFA. Um, just if you wanted to know when, when there's an epsilon, we can always get to the accept state from there. For example, look at B and A. So when we follow B, we get to state two, but an epsilon gets us to state three, and an A gets us to state zero, but then an epsilon gets us to state one, which is an accept state, so B, A is accepted in this string. So now let's take those strings, A, A, B, B, A, B, A, and B, A, and run them through our other, our DFA. So we had A, ABB, ABA, and BA. Okay, so now let's run that through. So A gets to an accept state, so that's good. Let's check that one off. So A works. ABB, ABB gets us to 1, 2, 3, that works. ABA, ABA gets us to 0, 1, 3, accepted. And then BA, BA gets to 0, 1, 3, that's accepted. Okay, so the next step would go through strings that aren't accepted by your first state and run them through your DFA to see, sorry, go through strings that aren't accepted by your NFA and see if they're not accepted still by your DFA. Uh, we're not gonna do that because I think we've gone through this enough. Remember the steps, convert the table first and the t converting the table will make it way easier to design your DFA. All right, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Good luck.